Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Isle chapter. I'm on my Stampler this time with an unusual back bar set called Hatchling Shell. It gives basically a 4.3k damage shield, pretty nice, insta procs when you just take damage. The 2 set piece and the 3 set piece with armor also helps for more tankiness. You can go of course with Rallying Cry or the best in slot back bar sets if you want. But I just wanted to try something else and it works with Hatching Shell, so why not? Then front bar, still deadly strikes. Probably the strongest front bar set for a Templar in general with 15% more damage for our spammable biting jabs. Really powerful. Combined with the mythic item Markun, Magma Incarnate as monster set and one trainee for XHP. I'm on 5 heavy pieces, 2 medium armor pieces, 5 impen, 1 well fitted and 1 sturdy, full prismatic glyphs, full infused, 2 spell damage and 1 stamina region, why spell damage, simple, thanks to the passive, uh, illuminate, Casting a Dawn's Wrath ability grants minor sorcery for 20 seconds, 10% extra spell damage. Pretty nice. Then front bar, a Deadly Maul for extra penetration, in sharpened with the Berserker Groove. Back bar, sword and board, powered, sturdy, and the escape is poisons. For a bigger damage shield, just go with HP on the shield. It helps a bit. Skills, front bar, executioner, to which execute. Alternative, I've tested Javelin, the Biding Javelin, the Stamina Morph, which stuns the enemy, works too, so if you prefer CC, put out Executioner for Javelin, then Power of the Light for Minor Breach and a Burst Dot, Biting Jabs are spammable, Karma Hunter for Major Savagery, Minor Berserk and Slayer, 3% extra weapon damage. With Malakat you could put something else here, but since I use Markun, I need the 12% crit rate. Rally is burst here. Don't make of smiting as ultimate. With Javelin you could swap uh, Dawnbreaker for Crash and Sweep for a little bit more damage. But I prefer the AoE stun of Dawnbreaker of Smiting more and also the extra 3% weapon damage as passive, pretty nice. Backbar. Card drops for Major Breach, Race Against Time, our Snare Removable, Vigor as self heal, Restoring Focus, Resistance Buff and Sustain, Extended Ritual, a powerful heal which also purchases, and Spare Wall as Defensive Ultimate. Race, still not for extra resistance, Ulti Region, Max Stamina and Health. Imperial works fine too by the way. Then Mundus, the Serpent for extra sustain. Atium Takeaway Broth is buff food, 41 points in health and 23 in stamina, a little bit more in health just to empower the damage shield of Hatching Shell, potions, mainly the tricep potions. CPs, blue ones biting our master arms, do the with an iron knot, red ones sustain per suffering, pains with huge celebrity and bastion instead of slippery. Again, just for Hatching Shell to gain a 15% increased damage shield. Let's talk about the PvP combination, pretty simple. Start with Rally and Race Against Time. Then Card Drops into Power of the Light. Spam Biting Jabs and shortly before Portal explodes, use Stormbreaker into Executioner. Pretty simple. Here we go again with some gameplay footage, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video, peace. Just a little bit closer Find somebody in my life that can make it for I've been last, I'll be found in the broken A way out in the crowd feeling open Find somebody in my life that can make it for 
That one's just me, so I'm sorry. Just me, time's over. 